This is the Tribal Root Studio, Uganda. I'm welcoming all of you to the Wake Up Africa Benefit Concert. I love you all for tuning in, for being with us. I really appreciate you. And I know the rest of the youth in Africa appreciate you for that. So I, I would like to send my shouts out to all the people that have supported the top supporter, Mr. Derek. I want to, to send my shouts out to Miss Tara. Send my shouts out to uh, Mr. Mr. Steven from the UK and to also uh, Mrs. Yolande from the Caribbean. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Sister Pauline. Uh, I will thank the Pan African Daily TV. I will also thank all the people you know. I cannot mention all of you, but I know what you're doing and I really, really am thankful. I will, I will thank the Fig Tree Queen. Hi, girl. I thank you for all you have done, all you are doing, and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, Brother Ben from Upam, you know, everyone, everyone that's doing all these great things, and also the Vlad uh, community, Mr. Ajam, thank you so much. I thank all of the people that are supporting us, and I really wish, I really wish you all know how grateful I am. So this is the Tribal Root Studio in Uganda, and we are in the Wake Up Africa Benefit Concert. Uh, we will be going to the stage next, and there are some of the things I would like us to understand before the concert officially began, uh, begins. Uh, we are in Africa, and I am a champion for the youth working solutions approach uh, with many groups of youth from universities, secondary schools, and the villages. And as someone who has really traveled in these villages and who has really interacted with these communities, I understand uh, all the struggles that the youth have. Probably someone outside of Africa needs to get the clear picture. And at this concert, we bring you the real picture from the real people and authentic experience of the African uh, life and actually we'll give you a virtual experience of a tour for africa we'll be doing these concerts every month every last week of every month we'll be broadcasting a concert from africa and each month we will travel to a new location at this wake up africa benefit concert we are in ishaka ishaka is uh, a small township in Bushenyi district in the western part of Uganda, uh, close to the mountains of the moon and the, the magnificent Renzura mountains. And, you know, this is the region where, uh, you know, the, the historical uh, African stories of the powerful, uh, spiritually powerful uh, people of Africa came from. And I, I am so happy to bring you this very location, this very space, to have this concert. So you can know about, you can visit, you can, you can read about it, and you can see it for yourself. You don't really have to read in the books and maybe try to watch documentaries when you have this experience from the horse's mouth. mouth. So this is what the Tribal Root Studio is going to be doing, bringing us the concerts each month each month, each month in every location, we will travel the world with you. So you need to stay with us. Stay with us. Keep following. Uh, we will have these concerts every last week. Tell friends to tell friends to tell friends. You do not have to miss. Uh, Uganda is in a lockdown right now, but I would like to say we have fought. We have fought to be able to do this. And we actually, we actually realize that there are very many things Africa could face, uh, many things, uh, many bad things we haven't known. Uh, the COVID is one of them, and the lockdowns is just another challenge. But we need to be at a, a point where we know how to live with these disasters. Uh, we know how to sanitize, you know, keep the mask on your face and, you know, distance. So that's why we are having our concert in a small way. Like we know the front row experience is okay with us because you are watching us. We really feel you and we are so thankful to you. So uh, probably everyone of you knows that Africa is a poor continent according to 
all the stories you've read about according to history, according to teachers, Africa is diseased and poor, and all of that. But today I would like to tell you that that was the biggest lie ever sold to the world. We have never been poor. You have, you have the watch on your wrist, you have radios, you have phones, and all the electronics, you know, all the things you enjoy, the things you call the fine things in life. You probably wouldn't have those things if it wasn't for the plundering of the minerals in Africa. Uh, if we were given a fair trade, we would be the richest country. You would be paying uh, fair prices for getting the, the minerals, the raw materials to get the things you want. You probably have interacted with Africans and somehow you feel that these people are beggars, you feel, you feel their pity, you know, you feel they are uncivilized, they are primitive, because everywhere you've gone, Africans are begging, are asking for handouts. But I would like to make this uh, remark to tell you that you are in a position of looking at Africans as the poor, pity and petty, because you have the privilege to enjoy a lifestyle that you have been given because of the injustices that your countries have done on Africa and continue to do. So if anyone of us, if anyone of you really feels like you are privileged and you have a good life, you know you also have a role to play in making sure Africa gets justice. And I don't think we are getting justice by going to court or going for war, but the only justice you can contribute to is to speak to your government and to also support initiatives in communities of Africa where all these injustices have left the deepest damage. So this is what it is. The African youth from the Tribe Roots Movement decide to take center stage in getting the solutions for all the problems Africa is having. So tonight we are having youth from Ishaka, Bushenyi, and they are leading the, the first ever concert, the Wake Up Africa Benefit concert, but we want to hear them, we want to speak to them, and we want to, to feel them when they perform, when they express themselves. Just see, see how energetic and powerful and hopeful they are, but behind those uh, very powerful, youthful people you see, there is so much pain. I know it because I've seen it, and I see it all, all the time. So at the Tribal Roots Movement, at the Tribal Roots Studio, we will bring you different groups of youth from across Africa, from different communities, and we will interview them. We will ask them to speak to you. They will show their skills, they will show their talents, and they will show you the great things they are doing in their communities. Only thing you need to do is help just one group. Just one group. That is how you will contribute to the lifting of the downtrodden of Africa. So all of these things are happening to the youth in Africa and we do not see a special platform that is streamlining joblessness and unemployment. For example, in Uganda, more than 80% of youth are unemployed. These people have no chance at life. They are unemployed, uh, living from hand to mouth. So in times of a COVID lockdown like this one, you know, things get even worse. So we, we are believing so much that we have uh, passed the time where Africa has to stretch their hands asking for donations. We are saying this is the time to support small businesses, small initiatives, those youth with skills and talent who just need supporting this is the approach we are taking and we are saying instead of uh, giving donations of food, you support a group of youth who are trying to plant vegetables to feed their community. This is the approach we are taking. And the Wake Up Africa Benefit Concert is meant to raise funds to help us set up that one center where youth can come to read, where youth can come to interact, where youth can access internet, which is actually a privilege in Africa, 
wherever you find it, you know those are privileged people. We want the youth to have a right to information, we'll provide it, and we want the diaspora to come to this center to exchange knowledge, to train skills, to also learn more about Africa. We'll bring you many episodes at the Tribe Roots Facebook page. You can follow that page. And just tonight, I wish you, you enjoy the show with all the artists performing tonight and myself. I love all of you. Thank you for being with us on this concert. God bless you.